Hi, I'm Greg Jansen, and I just want to show you what it looks like when the Selenium browser automation tool uh, is run by this uh, Jupyter Notebook script. So uh, this script will open up a, a web browser uh, based on which Selenium web driver you have installed on your computer. In this case, it's a Firefox or Gecko web driver. Uh, there are many options on the Selenium website. And uh, uh, that browser window will be opened by the program and then start to go to the website, the Maryland State Archives website. It will navigate to the right database or collection and then start uh, taking down records. Um, it will scrape each page, take an HTML table and write it to disk. Um, but it's neat to see it run. Uh, the difference between this and other kinds of web scraping is that you see the browser you can look at what it's doing. Often if something is wrong with your script, you can see what went wrong because you're looking at the browser as it happens. Um, so let's see what it looks like. I am going to run this notebook cell here with the, the run button and it will open a browser page. There we go. It's going to the Maryland State Archives and gets through those first few pages pretty quickly to reach the records. It goes a little faster than we can do it. So uh, let's see, you can see on this page that's on result 27 out of 2,800 records or so. Um, it's using this next button here uh, behind the scenes to, to take us to the next page. So there's a, a click that's happening every time it wants to go to the next page on this button via the script. And here's the data table that we're reading and uh, saving onto into a file for each page that we get to, like this. Um, eventually, this black next button will turn gray, and it won't really be a link anymore. Um, and the instructions in the, in the code say when that happens, that's when we stop. It's neat, you can see what's happening as it's happening. It happens faster than we could do it ourselves, um, but it's completely automatable. Thank you. All right.